Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick vlog, kind of catch up here um, since my last little video. Uh, out here in Dunlap, Tennessee right now, um, just fixed a truck that uh, was supposed to be at the Walmart and they left, came down, got down broke here in the road. Uh, and that brought me to a couple of points here about stuff that um, that could simply be avoided. Uh, one, he could have not been broke down in the street had he stayed where he said he was. Uh, and two, and what I see a lot on late model trucks is the red and blue airlines and electrical connector and the truck. And the electrical connector that um, goes in between the tractor and the trailer on most late model trucks anymore is all straight. They've kind of gotten away from the curly cues um, that you're used to seeing on older stuff. But I prefer the curly cues. I actually keep those on the truck. And um, what they do is they don't coil them enough. They don't wrap them around and they let them hang down. I'm gonna include some pictures of this specific one. And they let them hang down and they catch the deck and they're ripped apart. And that's what happened on this particular one. Uh, this could have easily been avoided uh, when the driver did his pre-trip, saw his lines hanging down. I mean, I've literally seen them down so far as the tri-pack on the side. Sometimes they're mounted on the left side. Sometimes it's just a step. And they're mounted all the way down there, and they will actually catch on the step or the tri-pack or just the decking on the back and rip the lines off. Um, I've had multiple jobs where trucks have broken down in a sharp articulating turn. They get way on over, it catches, it rips the lines off, and then they're dead where they are. Uh, in this driver's case, he ended up here at this intersection blocking the road, um, had law enforcement come by a couple of times, uh, asking me, you know, when it's gonna be done, when it's gonna be done. You know, it took 15 minutes to throw on, you know, shorten that up, hang it up properly. Uh, that's another thing they do. Um, they'll put the hangers on there, but then they'll clip one down low. They'll clip one down really low, um, and that doesn't do anything, you know. These lines don't need to stretch that far. Um, that's one reason I use the curlies. They don't have to go crazy um, for this truck to turn. You know, it's just a couple of feet and then you're good to go. Um, so I don't understand why things like this keep happening. Yes, it's service calls for us and our business and for us to make money, but I would love to see, you know, more situational awareness to the drivers and the shop mechanics that are putting these on that are letting these hang down. You know, this truck had, uh, I think, 59 or 69,000 miles, it's a 2020. Uh, this is completely unacceptable for this to be happening. Uh, I'm really hoping that, you know, by putting this out here, you know, more people can kind of catch on to this and, you know, notice, hey, this is not good. You know, this is hanging down. This is going to get torn off, especially if you're an owner operator. You do not want this, you know, this expense coming out here. You know, it's easily, every time you call out mobile service, you're going to spend two to four hundred dollars every time depending on how far out you are luckily this customer is pretty close only cost him about 200 bucks and a few minutes of his life I, I don't know how long it was until the dispatch got a hold of me to get him over here so I, i'm gonna assume he was broke down about an hour uh, but that's an hour of drive time you can get some miles in an hour uh, so you're losing money and then having to spend that money uh, some companies will charge back their drivers um, even though they are company drivers they will charge them back for mistakes like this running out of fuel is another one where a driver will get charged back for it uh, a fuel call come out bring 30 gallons of fuel you know that's gonna run you five six seven hundred dollars every time if you're far out I've seen it as high as I've had one that was 900 bucks to come out and deliver 30 gallons of fuel because the driver was way out in the middle of nowhere ran out of fuel uh, no fault of his own you know it showed a quarter tank of fuel but uh, it was very empty so I'm hoping maybe I can give some help to other people to let them you know be aware of things that are going to help them out and and maybe notice things to where they're not you know getting stranded like this driver um, it, it's the nature of it it's going to happen but if we can prevent some of that I, I would really like to see that um, I love coming out here I love getting people repaired and love you know the revenue off of it but I also hate when it's something silly and the driver or you know the owner of the company or something you know wants to be upset at me for something small that could have been caught somewhere else so hopefully this helps out um, like I said I'm gonna have some pictures included in this and uh, you know maybe talk some more about those and point out where they're at and uh, stay safe out there